Shavers. Randy here with Atlas Shaving. Today we're going to be shaving with another veteran owned soap company, um, Soap Commander. So we'll start with the watch. Um, today we're going with the Timex Iron Man. So this one has a negative display. This one I picked up not too long ago off Amazon. It was um, on sale during the Amazon Prime days. So we'll go ahead and throw that on. And then the razor, we're going with the Rockwell. One piece of it, another piece of it, another piece of it. The blade, we're going to be going with Shark Super Chrome. That's what the actual whole box looks like. I like these blades. They're probably, to me, their own par with the Derby, where they're not extremely sharp. Some people say they are, but I don't see it. Um, less likely to cut yourself with them. So putting that on there. Going with number three. Which needs to be on the bottom. Then like always, it always lines up very good. And then for the shaving brush, we're going to go with the um, Jaquil and Carinvio, or however you pronounce it. Turn it the right way. This one's got the cool, I call it the night sky star effect, which I love. And this is, this is a pretty cheap brush. This is the synthetic. For the soap, like I said, we're going with the Soap Commander 42. This one says, hey, tobacco and rum. Um, probably the only one I really smell is maybe a little bit of the rum. It's a little bit of a sweet smell. I tried to get my son and my wife to smell this and they really couldn't explain the smell. I don't know if I really smell the hay. Maybe a little bit of the tobacco. I bought it because of the, because of the tobacco. I like tobacco smelling soaps. It's kind of a brown, like a, maybe a little bit of a cream brown color. Probably should put some water in there to freeze soap. Seems to be soaking up pretty quick though. Oh, and then the aftershave. Aftershave, since it's a little bit late tonight, we're going with the Thayer's uh, Rose Petal. I still need to get the cucumber. Not a big fan of Rose Petal. This is not terrible. This one's soaked up really good. I'll take and mix it in my um, Old Spice mug. I still need to do an Old Spice shave and it's still on the list for sure. I think I'll do a 50s shave with it. Probably after, maybe in December. Soap there. Mustache is coming in great. Actually, it's been a little while since I shaved. It's been almost a week. It's probably the longest since I started doing the YouTube videos that my hair has been. And I don't really care to shave because to me, when your hair is a little bit longer, I mean, I don't care to shave with, let me rephrase that. I don't care to shave with uh, longer hair. It tends to want to pull a little more. Could have used some pre-shave, but I'm not a big fan of them because they tend to clog the razor. And 
And then this weekend did tested out the pop-up camper, which the pop-up camper did great. We actually went to my mother-in-law's driveway. It was about, it got down to, I think it was about 49 degrees and we had a little ceramic heater that actually kept the pop-up pretty warm. Didn't get cold. It was nice and cool the, the, that night outside with the campfire. The tow vehicle, on the other hand, that's what you call the vehicle that pulls the camper. I had to get it towed to the Chevrolet dealership. Not happy about that. Went to auto start it and did that while I was while the rear hatch was closing and all of a sudden it would not start and the rear hatch would not open. And so far they've diagnosed the EC, ECM, which I kind of knew because I used the voltmeter to and knew that the side that was supposed to be getting power, um, the other side, the side that was getting power had power, but the other side was being ground out. So every time you turn the key on, it would just pop the fuse. So I knew it was that, but I wasn't sure if there was maybe a burnt wire somewhere. So right now they're saying it's an ECM. They want 800 and some dollars to repair it. And you can actually buy that same ECM for under 200 bucks. But if I go through them, and it ends up being something else, and they fry another one, then they would have to replace it. Oh, yeah, shark shut, shark cuts through the carolite butter. Very nice, very nice. So that's how my weekend went. Like I said, the camping was great. We had hot dogs. So that was good. Let me start putting together some more of my short videos to continue that series. It's been super busy. I, as you can tell. Hear my son saying my daughter woke up. I think in that office we're about halfway through season eight. I can't remember if there's nine seasons or ten seasons. I think it's nine. I think. In season four, I think I was there last time I chatted on here. In season four of Married with Children. This is the season that Steve Rhodes leaves. Can't remember the actor's name. First pet. Did pretty good. A little bit more soup. 
So now the the pop-up camper had to leave it at my mother-in-law's house, which is about an hour away. I was hoping to get it in the garage. So got a little bit of cleaning to do. Oh, and the bad part about the ECM, it's on back order. So I don't know which I don't need that vehicle. It's not my main vehicle, so it's fine if it gets stuck there. Oh, look at that. I always like the second pass of soap because it goes on so smooth. A lot less hair. And then we got vacation coming up for during Thanksgiving. Right now we're still planning on going to Indiana. There, um, you know what? Cases are on the rise like most states and like most countries. So right now the plan is to go there. And we're just going to visit her, my wife's dad. And her stepmom. So we'll play it smart. But usually we like to do things and go out and not going to be the case this time. Which I mean, we're really there to visit family anyway. I got avoided shaping it. You know, I'm still sticking to my one video, at least one video a week. I know it's going probably two or three until life got busy. And when it slows down again. I'll probably put more videos up. I know right now in the beginning stages, not a ton of people are watching them anyway. We'll do three passes. We will do three passes. The thing on the door behind me always makes me look like if there's a hair sticking up. The door stopped. So if you notice, the walls in the bathroom are a green. And I am not a fan of it. Even though I painted it that color. It's been this color for a while. So the plan is to repaint the bathroom. Gray. Gray is the end thing. So eventually, I already have the paint. Just need to do it. Probably more around summertime. Maybe spring. Don't really want to do it in the wintertime. Alright, last pass.
Shouldn't be grab shouldn't be a whole lot of hair left. Now this time I'll probably cut that pimple. And then my, I have a 1950, I don't know, I think I mentioned it, but I can't remember. I have a 1950 Plymouth. But I haven't driven a whole lot this year. But it needs a valve stem. And the issue with that is the tires on it are pretty old. And my concern is, um, I have, well, I have a valve stem that's leaking. And my concern is, if I take it somewhere, they're not going to want to put the valve stem on it. Because, for one, the tire is old. For two, The, the rim's only like four inches wide and it's got like a 275 tire. And they don't, places don't like the mount, mount tires on a wider tire on the rim like that. And then for three, I'm concerned that the, that the, uh, the wheel is going to have a lot of rust inside of it because the, the wheels are old as well. But I need new wheels and tires. The issue with that is being a 1950 Plymouth not a super popular car but it does have get that mustache. It does have um that's, I don't know if you really call it a specialty wheel, but a, a wheel that actually has little holes in it and it's got holes on the drums where those holes line up with. So you can't just buy any, any rim. So I got to get on some forums and, and then when you go to tire places and they never have a 1950 Plymouth. All right. For aftershave. There's witch hazel. I always like to use this later at night. Because the smell's not too strong. That's good for your face. And it doesn't burn. So you don't have to worry about your face burning before you go to bed. Or whatever you're going to do. And the smell's definitely not overpowering. Like some of the others. Like a... A lot of the aftershaves. Oh, the funny story about the Chevrolet too. It got me thinking because of the mustache. Um, it's actually at Del Earnhardt Chevrolet. He always sported the mustache. Well, that's gonna do it for my shave. Hope everybody has a great rest of the week and happy shaving. <laughs>